Jack, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with Mark Rosa, the CEO of Keen Software House. Mark, how are you doing? Hello. Cool. Awesome. So today we're going to be talking about space engineers, the future of the game, but also how well the year has gone. So Mark, that's where we're going to start off. Space engineers had a fantastic year this year. Um, we launched the game in February of 2019. So how would you say the year as a whole has gone with the DLC, the release, and now looking to next year as well? But let's focus on this year. How's that been? I think very well, and uh, as it should be. <laughs> and... Uh... Uh, it, I think it was very well, and uh, I think we did a good job, and uh, our team, and uh, the game was uh, received by the community very well. We have good uh, reviews, and uh, also good um, good touch with the community, and good, uh, you know, like, uh, kind of uh, relationship. And uh, since the release, uh, we, we also added, like, few things, some of them quite major, like for example the economy mm. uh, to the game and uh, they were, I think, all of them received very well by the community, so this year, that's true, uh, was really like successful and uh, just, you know, like some kind of everything just went well. Great to hear. I mean, one of the great things this year, um, and sort of a controversial decision was the adding of um, downloadable content or DLC to Space Engineers. What kind of inspired that decision in the first place to, you know, include DLC in a sandbox game like SE? So the idea is that uh, basically uh, Space Engineers has, uh, like the business model of Space Engineers is that we sell the game and then people are getting the updates or uh, updates for free, you know, mm. and kind of forever. And it has been like this for six years uh, since we enter the early access for the first time but on the other side like you cannot do this forever you know like you cannot yeah. for example build a car sell the car and then like do upgrades for the car for the customer forever so we had to find out some kind of like modification to this business model that can be still perceived well by the community but bring some new revenue uh, to the company and uh, this idea with the DLCs for the kind of like non-mandatory features uh, seems to be well received and uh, working well and maybe it's something that will stick to. Mm. Uh, we'll see what will be the frequency of DLCs and updates and everything but again you know like when we are not adding things that people can consider as something that should belong to the vanilla game and uh, uh, if we are not adding things that can be like seen as uh, pay to win uh, that's uh, like well received by the community. I think most of the people they just understand that you cannot be updating the game forever for free, you know, without any kind of new revenue. So I think this seems to be like a win-win situation for 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 all of us. Because we speak about that there, you know, Space Engineers released in 2013, which is six years ago. We recently had the six-year anniversary, um, which celebrated how long the game's been around. So let's look to the future a little bit now. We're here in November 2019 now, back to go in December, final month of the year, 2020. How do you see SE doing in 2020? Is there anything you can share with us of what's on the map or in so, general? Uh, quite soon in the year, uh, or not that late in the year, 2020, we will release, uh, we will release Xbox uh, version of Space Engineers. So I think that will be a big thing. And then uh, during that year, we will uh, do few updates and with some DLCs and with some of them and uh, they will just add new kind of gameplay maybe new kind of scenario you know to the game those kind of things so we have a plan for the next year okay excellent I mean we'll obviously talk about the Xbox here with tomorrow is the gameplay reveal um, the first gameplay reveal of the Xbox uh, SE version to everyone how would you say that project has gone so far for this year I mean it's had a few you know bumps along the road but it's been going along quite well since the release of the main SE now are you confident it's okay to release next year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's already working, and uh, we are basically just. I mean, Chendo used to say that we can already release it, you know, and it's really good to go. But we are still optimizing the game so it performs well with like good amount of players mm. in some scenarios and so on. So we are still optimizing the game, making sure that it will run well on Xbox, and also we are uh, like reimplementing or. Uh, uh, customizing or changing the uh, UI so the controls and the user interface for a player is really intuitive simple easy to understand 
and uh, if there were not these two things we could basically release it and uh, so this year it was going really well and uh, what enabled it uh, that it's going so well is that um, for us it was in the beginning quite complicated to get the game on uh, Xbox you know because mm -hmm. it's in C sharp and there are actually not tools to how to get a C sharp game on Xbox uh, even though it's still Microsoft but you know like <laughs> it wasn't possible but luckily Microsoft and some other people did some tools and some things and uh, now we are able to get C Sharp or .NET on Xbox, so this year uh, basically it kind of just exploded, you know, with the possibilities of getting there. And once we had the game on Xbox, once we had the first build that, like, you can say that okay, this is Space Engineers running on Xbox, it just like continued very fast. So obviously, there's definitely some struggles along the way of getting Xbox or getting Space Engineers to be on the Xbox. Now it's there. We're obviously going towards mm -hmm. the release of next year. Is there any key particular feature you're happy that is on the Xbox version? I guess Planets on the Xbox version is something which is key to talk about because when the Xbox version was revealed, Planets weren't even in the mainline mm -hmm. SE then. So now the fact they're in the Xbox as well, do you want to say anything about that particularly? It's kind of surprising mm. that uh, in some ways I wouldn't expect Planets on uh, Xbox. And uh, so it's a nice surprise that we can deliver. Definitely, yeah. it's very more true to the experience people yes. get on the PC yes, these yes. days. And um, let's quickly track back to DLC at the moment. Obviously Space Engineers has seen many DLCs this year, which is good. It's introduced extra content to the game and of course supported you as developers. Are players on the Xbox going to receive a similar thing with DLC? Are they going to have to pay separately for DLCs on the Xbox or is something else going to be done to support that? Or So the thing that we are thinking about is that uh, we will just probably have some kind of deluxe edition of the game with all these DLCs included okay. and that's simple so you could buy basic version of Space Engineers on Xbox or this deluxe version and that's it you know like the players simple. might prefer that really because yeah. it means they're pieing everything to start and obviously it's all been released right this year so they are getting the most up-to-date version of SC and the bonus content mm -hmm. along the same time which I think people would prefer mm -hmm. okay let's talk a bit more about the future of SC as well a lot of the community currently are discussing um, the weapons update or the pending update, you know, a lot of people discuss a combat update for Space Engineers. How do you feel about that? Do you think SC's combat is good where it is now or do you reckon it needs to be redesigned more? Is there more that could be added to it essentially? Definitely there could be more added and uh, redesigned or uh, tweaked, you know, like mm. balancing uh, like the ratio between defense and attack and for example uh, how easy and, or time consuming it is to like just grind through some ship versus just like you know yeah. uh, go through the ship through explosions or some you know like some damage and so on so there definitely are these possibilities and also more character weapons or more ship uh, weapons that's another possibility and then another possibility is making a scenario where all these things will be tied into some kind of loop you know where you can just start the scenario or the the game play see a leatherboard you know and repeat mm. and so i'm not promising any of these things yeah. but uh i was just talking about them and uh but i think there is uh, like big possibility that we'll do something like this you know? there's some ideas floating around yeah. at the minute it just comes down to refining them and obviously seeing mm -hmm. what best works for the community as well mm -hmm. and by the way space engineers was always in some way seen as a starting point for a game that is about combat you know like mm -hmm. obviously like i wanted space engineers to be about engineering and like we keep repeating this you know, like all yeah. the time but uh, i still saw it as some kind of first step for a game that will be about uh, building and then fighting like it, for me it was just not natural step and i didn't want to make a game where you know let's say clone of Call of Duty or some other game where uh, it would be ju just fighting and nothing else. I wanted to make this volumetric environment and then fighting in this volumetric environment. So I think we see at the minute a lot of the community of SE, uh, they start their surviving, they get their tools, they get their big ships and then naturally on multiplayer servers they fight each other or in the game they mm -hmm. fight what type of NPCs we have at the minute or themselves. Combat is definitely a core aspect of Space Engineers and that's why a lot of people are asking whether there will be a combat update at some point. So at least you can say ideas are currently in process it just depends what you want to focus on yeah 
Excellent. So, looking towards the future again, what's next for King Software House? Is Space Engineers going to continue throughout 2020? Is there other ideas for maybe a future installation of a new game in process? Can you share anything about that at the moment? So, for the year 2020, uh, we are planning supporting the game, you know, with the updates, as I was saying, and uh, like uh, longer in the road, uh, I would say the idea or the ideas are coming to be together about concept for something next, you know, some kind of evolution of what we already have. Maybe it's too early to, to talk about this, but uh, I just want to emphasize that for now we are really keeping uh, our attention of Space Engineers 1, like that's our focus uh, in the company. I think you know a lot of people are going to be glad to hear that the core focus is polishing Space Engineers, which is arguably a very good game at the moment. Obviously, the Xbox version is releasing at some point next year, and obviously, SE is going to be supported throughout 2020 as well. So, I think people are definitely going to be excited to hear about that. And yeah, I think that kind of sums everything up for a minute. We've obviously covered the Xbox, future content, future DLC. Mm -hmm. I think that's mainly everything. Good. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Matt. I'm sure we'll catch up at some point next year when there's much more to talk about and hopefully the release of the Xbox. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Okay everyone, that was the interview of Marek Rosa, the CEO of Keen Software House there. A massive thank you to himself and also the Keen team for inviting me, Dr. Kraz and Cosmic Chimp all the way out to Prague to launch the Xbox gameplay demo to you all, uh, show it off to you. And it's an amazing experience, honestly. Um, I can't wait to talk more about that very soon. But for the moment, I'm gonna leave you with this interview. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comment section as per usual. And uh, hopefully we've got some more to reflect on as we end out 2019 and hopefully look forward to a very productive year for 2020 and how Space Engineers is gonna evolve them. I'm excited for it, it's gonna be fun, but uh, I'll let you leave some comments down below and maybe we can revisit it in a video coming up very soon. I think 2020 is gonna be an interesting year for the game and Keen Software House as well. We've also got the Xbox release to look forward to and now there's some more stuff on the way as well. I have to keep an eye on it. All right, everyone, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching and I'll see you sometime soon. Goodbye.